MyLipro or Alpha Brain? Which nootropic supplement is better? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. In this video, we're gonna look at the comparison between Alpha Brain and MyLipro. We're gonna look at the similarities, we're gonna look at the differences, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you which supplement is better. Now, when I was first choosing an atropic supplement for myself, that was back in 2015 or so, you know, MyLipro and Alpha Brain were both on the top list. They were the best nootropic supplements you could find back then. And I was really struggling. I couldn't choose between the two. I couldn't objectively say which nootropic supplement is better. So I decided to order both of them test them out and then see you know, which one is better for myself. And honestly, back then I really couldn't see a big difference. I was testing one for a while, testing the other one, and it was just too challenging to pick a winner. However, things have changed a lot in the past years. Now, Manly Pro was developing and optimizing their nootropic supplement for many years. Um, this formula you can see right now has been optimized at least two, three times maybe. And um, that's what really makes it stand out because they're constantly listening to feedbacks of users and constantly upgrading their formula. However, Alpha Brain on the other side hasn't been changed for a while. And I'm really not happy about it because I wanna see it optimize it as well as my the Pro optimize their formula. Uh, because there's so many things that can be changed here. There's so many uh, nootropics that can be added, a few that they could easily put out of the stack. And yeah, this didn't happen. So that's really a big difference uh, here between Alpha Brain and Myla Pro. But the question is, has Alpha Brain stayed in the game? That's what we're gonna find out right now. By the way, guys, which one do you prefer? Myla Pro or Alpha Brain? Let me know in the comment section below. So if you first look at the similarities between both stacks. Now both nootropic supplements were developed to help you improve your cognition, to help you with focus, with memory and so on. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the goal of both nootropic supplements was pretty much the same. Give you a solution that will improve your cognitive performance. Both nootropic supplements contain high quality ingredients. Nowadays, a lot of nootropic supplements you can find in the market, they contain really low quality nootropic compounds. They have those very bad formulas that don't make any sense. Uh, but that was, or that's not the case with Alpha Brain and Manly Pro. They're both on the high end and that's what I really appreciate about them both. And as a result, both nootropic supplements are among the more expensive ones, but that's a good thing in my opinion because I know the brands, I know who's behind them, I know their goals, their vision, their mission and so on, and that's what um, makes it really stand out. Now the high price is the result of all the development they put in and it's kind of a, a security measure for yourself to know these nootropic stacks contain high quality ingredients. However, I'm more worried about the differences that you can find between both nootropic stacks. Now, just before I share them with you, just one important notice for you, I have revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you. To get them, download my free handbook below. So one crucial difference that I already mentioned before is that Mindly Pro is constantly optimizing their formula, while this is not true for Alpha Brain. Um, what's gonna happen in the future, I don't know, but I'm really looking forward uh, to see an optimized formula here from uh, Alpha Brain. I hope that's gonna happen. Otherwise, I think the difference between those two will just increase even more in the future. Another important difference is that Mindly Pro has an open source formula. So we know the exact amount of all ingredients in the nootropic stack. And again, this is not true for Alpha Brain. We know a few ingredients, but we don't know the exact amount of every single individual nootropic compound in the stack. Why is this a problem? Because it's very difficult for me then to recommend Alpha Brain because if I don't know the exact amount of every single individual compound, I mean, it's very hard for me to say, yeah, that's a great stack. What if it isn't, you know? And that's, that's a big issue. Um, so that's another difference between the two. Another one is that Alpha Brain is more focused towards the athletes. I mean, the whole brand on it, um, it is very much focused towards athletes, while Manly Pro with, with its brand is more focused towards everyone basically who is trying to 
improve their cognitive performance. It's not such a big deal, but just something for you to know. When it comes to price per serving, there's a very slight difference. Mindly Pro is slightly more expensive. The price per serving is over by just about $2 while with Alpha Brain, the price per serving is just below $2. It's a very small difference that shouldn't play, in my opinion, a big role here in this comparison. Now, when it comes to performance, back then, as I said before, when I first uh, started trying nootropics and reviewing them, both nootropic supplements had a similar performance. Um, I couldn't spot a big difference between them. Today, however, this has changed. Now, as I said before, Mindly Pro has been optimizing their formula, and you can see this now. If you look at the short-term performance, you shouldn't be able to see any big difference between the two. At least I cannot see the difference. However, if you look at the long-term performance with a few ingredients that uh, Mindly Pro contains, but you cannot find them in Alpha Brain, and with the fact that we know the exact amount of ingredients in Mindly Pro, there is no doubt Mindly Pro is the better of the two, and it should deliver better results in the long term. So if you include all the factors, the short-term effects, the long-term effects, the safety, uh, how is the brand responding to the customer feedbacks, how is the brand optimizing their formula, uh, what do we know about the ingredients, the daily dosages, and so on. In my opinion, Mindly Pro is the better nootropic stack. Now keep in mind, I'm not sponsored by the guys. This is my honest review. I think it's not a big, such a big difference between the two, but if you include all the elements, yeah, Mindly Pro is the winner. So if you wanna read more about my reviews, my experience with both nootropic stacks, check out below their links. If you have any questions, do let me know. If you wanna order them, their links below as well. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you soon.